Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm going to show you this um, this setup that I did using Blender Fluid and Animation Nodes. Basically, this is um, some kind of a trigger mechanism. It's almost like almost like driver. So basically, you can see here I have one, two, three, four, five, five fluid inflow, and they kind of kind of like uh, turning on and off based on something and that's something if I show you is basically this box right here and the box is kind of animating from right to left and whenever the box inside um, the inflow the inflow is gonna be triggered and it's gonna emit fluid so when it, when it's uh, when the box is outside the inflow when the inflow is outside of the box and then it's gonna stop emitting fluid and just gonna disappear so we have a fluid simulation there it's quite quite beautiful there uh, anyhow let's uh, let's do that very very quickly it's not it's not super complicated but you will see uh, how to set it up so let's get started I will switch this to compositing real quick save as I'll just gonna save it. A N fluid trigger, and let's set this up as a fluid domain. So fluid domain, and we're gonna have an icosphere. This guy is gonna be fluid inflow and let's test this real quick just a uh, bake <clears throat> okay so it is baking our fluid it's gonna it's just gonna drip so that's cool let's uh, stop the baking so let's save this kind of wondering where it saved the fluid so it's caching the fluid inside this folder so that's okay. Seem to be overriding the previous fluid simulations. So let's see how we can generate the trigger. Create animation nodes. And basically the idea is that we're gonna use animation nodes and get the position of our uh, inflow in 3D space. So let's use the object transform input get our icosphere which is our inflow so let's look at it in the outliner we have our cube domain fluid icosphere as inflow this inflow will probably shoot we can shoot it shoot the fluid down so it's a bit more obvious and so we have the location of the icosphere now we can use uh, something called bph3 let's create some kind of cube so this guy will check whether it is inside whether the inflow is inside or outside and so this guy is going to be an object let's name it so let's call it trigger and there is inside is inside volume so this is how we set it up it's pretty simple right and let's use a viewer and see what we get it's almost like um, dynamic paint and blender drivers you can set it up like this so it's gonna be it knows whether a point in 3D space is inside or outside of volume of this object. So by doing that, we can set it up using object attribute output. So this object, uh, our object, so let's try, let's use object input.
grab our icosphere and plug this into that guy so we want to control this uh, enable and disable using um, this inside volume nodes so let's copy this paste it here just delete the value replace this delete this part it says value have a wrong type but if we plug in this boolean value it's gonna be okay see if I have this being selected and then I pin it uh, you can see whenever this box is inside or outside it's gonna turn this on and off file save as so of course we want this to work for multiple objects that's, that will be a lot um, more interesting but we're gonna we can do that later so this is our domain I kind of wish I can make the domain like wire uh, but that's okay so anyhow this is our trigger and this is our icosphere we can turn off the icosphere so I'm gonna animate this guy keyframe it and put it inside keyframe it I'm gonna use the dope sheet as well and slide the animation there and this guy just copy it there it's gonna be inside and then it's gonna goes out again right and now I'm gonna select fluid domain and then so where's our this is our fluid domain and we have to unpin this guy and then bake it out <clears throat> we gotta wait a few seconds I think so as our trigger objects goes inside our fluid start to drip and as it goes outside of course it turn off the, the emission of the fluid and then it stops so it's that simple and whenever whenever we want to do it we want to make a change so this is uh, this outside inside outside this one seems to be outside so I need to put that in there okay so it's gonna go inside outside inside outside let's recast the fluid so because this is like super low res fluid you can see this is pretty fast and you can turn this into final which is a 65 preview 45 you can go higher like 150 or 250 or 300 just like a lot more dense fluid so this works for single objects if you want to do it for multiple objects uh, you can do that as well normally it's a good idea if you simply um, so I'm gonna select the icosphere and let's say I'm I have another emitter so this guy I'm, I'm just gonna group it so here I'm gonna use objects from group and grab our group and for this guy we want to do everything here so I just gonna use W look through objects and this objects goes in there and there it should work so now we just select our domain do another baking uh, I figured this out because I know that animation nodes actually kind of working nicely with blender fluid so it's uh, you don't need to do any keyframing and it's just gonna work like drivers it is really really powerful doing it this way All right so we have two fluid emission being triggered by animation nodes pretty cool so in reality we can easily change this so I'm gonna delete all the keyframe now right I'm gonna have this fluid 
one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna trigger it using animation uh, using this uh, bounding box keyframe there. And oops, I accidentally tap hidden edge. So we have this animation. Select our fluid domain. Increase this to eighty five. Still pretty low res, but we can see a lot, a lot more details. As soon as this guy goes inside, it's gonna trigger our fluid. As soon as it goes out, it stops. Right? You see, this is almost real time. It is actually kind of real time. No, it's a, it's baking, but it's animation nodes procedurally triggering fluid. So you, there you go. If you are using the flip fluid add-on um, that would work as well but you need to bake the animations uh, in here you need to bake it out bake keyframe and then it will work with the setup for flip fluid with blender fluid the built-in fluid you can do this pretty easily like this all right all right there you go um, very simple setup to trigger fluid emission. Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.